everyone welcome back to my channel panther schools my name is amit singh and the purpose of making this video is uh, there is a very new tool that is coming in the market that has came in the market and announced is uh, its own arrival and that is deepseek r1 a new ai model that was developed by chinese government uh, the chinese companies uh, has developed this model so as soon as this uh, model was announced and it has surpassed uh, uh, the number of downloads uh, more than whatever the chat gpt users are using so and and it is basically outsmarting chat gpt in all the areas uh, after the release uh, uh, it has got released on january 10 uh, this year 2025 and on january 20 uh, seventh, uh, it has basically surpassed the number of downloads for the chat GPT application and it also has basically uh, affected the big companies the giant companies like uh, OpenAI, Google, NVIDIA these all are now worried about uh, uh, because as soon as this deep sea carbon came uh, into the existence the stocks for NVIDIA has dropped by 18 percent and this this is a really huge loss for nvidia uh, and, and because of this i i think that uh, an ai like chat gpt is going to lose the job because of uh, another ai like DeepSeek. so uh, that's what we are going to talk about so uh, let, let me quickly share my screen so that we can uh, go through with what uh, deep seek r1 is what it does uh, uh, how it is better in terms of uh, utilizing the chat gpt and other tools and so chat gpt is like uh, another uh, tool that we have uh, so if you want to uh, visit uh, not chat gpt sorry uh, the deep seek if you want to uh, play around if you want to get started with uh, deep seek uh, you can go to the website called deepseek.com and you just click on this get started now and you will get the access to the version 3 which is the latest model uh, released on january 10th if we talk about the capabilities of deep seek version 3 uh, this is these are basically the two models of deep seek like version 3 and 2.5 and these are the other models where uh, the comparison has been made into the different areas so you can see here the performance of deep seek it, it's amazing like it is out uh, outperforming any other tools any other llm that is available into uh, into the market like chat gpt uh, clouds on it or llama 3.1 any models and you talk about any of the area so basically in terms of solving the math problems deep seek is best in terms of working uh, in some some sort of chinese areas deep seek is best uh, that has to be because it's a chinese uh, company and chinese product and if you see in terms of code it is outperforming every single tool so whatever the outcome that we're getting out of this deep seeks are amazing like uh, uh, you can develop uh, any uh, product, any SaaS based product, uh, any cryptocurrency related products or you can create mobile applications, uh, web applications. You can do it within few hours. You can get the production ready code and you can uh, basically you are good. That's how it basically does and it's really really amazing tool. There are definitely certain issues that it has uh, because it's the very new uh, and it just started uh, uh, taking over the market there would be some issues and it will uh, gradually it will learn and it will improve the responses but this is really really a uh, amazing tool that has came how deep seek has been uh, became this basically uh, is smart it's smarter than open ai and uh, other tools uh, there are two reasons for this let's first talk about the deep seek okay uh, this deep seek company is basically uh, it was established if you see in may 2023 which is nearly a year ago and this project was basically a side project it was not like they are going to develop something and uh, take over the market it was just a side project uh, where a group of people were working in a research based company and the people who were basically working here were uh, their qualification is really uh, high like they have solved the math problems they have done the phd in a specific area that is why they were basically able to outsmart open ai at every area at every places and the best thing or the second uh, thing that about deep seek is that 
So if you talk about OpenAI, right? OpenAI is just the name and uh, it just says that open. Uh, otherwise, everything is closed, right? You, you don't know how it works or what it does behind the scene and all of the things. In case of DeepSeek, everything is open source. Everything is available open source. You can access, uh, uh, you can uh, basically utilize this LLM and uh, create your own LLM out of these models. Th that is basically the second option why DeepSeek is outperforming GPT. Because DeepSeek has used the power of other open source LLM. You can basically go to the hugging face and you can find all the open source LLM models available out there. So DeepSeek has basically utilized the existing open source models. Their developers has utilized the existing open source LLM models and they have developed their own. That is the second and very important thing. It's not like uh, it is going to be unfair to make a statement that a Chinese company DeepSeek is basically outsmarting uh, OpenAI. Uh, it is fair to say that an open source, uh, this is the power of open source because there are a lot of open source uh, models available in the market. If you say hugging face, okay, if you go to hugging face, uh, this is a deep, deep face, uh, sorry, deep seek. But if you go to the hugging face, this is a website of open source LLMs, open source models. You can uh, go to the models tab, you can find a lot of models, you can uh, basically uh, filter based on the categories like image generation, text generation, audio or video generation. Uh, you can find a lot of open source models available there. And even in this model list, there is DeepSeek AI R1. And this basically is going to give you the complete detail about how you can install it, how you can set it up locally and how you can run it in your local system. And it's not that it's just the open source. The third important thing and the key thing is cost. It is very, very cost effectiveness in terms of as compared to OpenAI, DeepSeek is charging nothing to train you, uh, to train your model, to fine tune your model, uh, to create the application out of uh, DeepSeek like you want to create a audio application, you want to create a video application, uh, some chat based, some rag, agenting uh, rag, you can do whatever you want and that is very very cost effectiveness, right? How? Let's basically go to the GitHub, okay? Let's go to the GitHub of DeepSeek, okay? GitHub DeepSeek. This is basically the DeepSeek AI and you can find all the versions over here. So here you can see all the models are available, right? So if we go to DeepSeek V3 and you will see all the details here. If I click on this image, it is going to open the image which basically gives you the performance. If you see, right, uh, let, let me open it in a new tab. And it, it, it gives the performance against the DeepSeek V3. If you talk about this blue line, this is for deep, uh, DeepSeek V3. Then the other blue line is for DeepSeek V2.5. And then the other bars are basically the different, different models. And if you see the performance of DeepSeek in all other uh, areas, if you see everywhere, uh, I either bench for Merified or Math 500 uh, to solving the math problems or to solving some problems related to uh, GPQA or MMLU. So basically, it is kind of outsmarting every other model available there in the market. That is the one thing as part of the comparison. We were talking about the task uh, co cost part, right? So let's go to this cost part. And uh, you can see here, you can download the models from Hugging Face. And these are the evaluation which we have talked about uh, in the starting. And uh, this is the context window. These are the chat models, depending on, it gives you the different, different parameters, how many parameters it has been trained on and uh, the result that it gives us. Chat, okay, these are the chat applications. Okay, not, not here, it's not uh, given here, the cost things is not here. And let's go to, let's open this website, my bad. 
okay so this is uh, basically the deepseek.com okay and if you see here there is something called api platform on the right side if you click on it uh, it's currently under maintenance okay that is uh, something uh, really really uh, surprising because they are getting uh, good numbers and then they are going on the maintenance okay okay let's search for so this is one of the article that talks about the cost comparison between the gpt and uh, the deep seek and it has basically categorized uh, the gpt and deep seek into the different different uh, components the first component is that it is categorizing based on the free version so what basically you get on the free version and what you get on the deep seek okay you can see here it says restricted speed in case of chat gpt free version they're not giving you the complete access uh, the uh, there, there is a capped access means there is some limitation you cannot uh, keep using gpt uh, 40 the latest model right in case of deep seek you get the full access there is no restrictions you can enable deep seek mode you ask the question and you get the answers okay Second thing is that if you are using their APIs, that is the second comparison, the second factor of comparison. Okay, let's talk about the Chat GPT. So the Chat GPT cost is basically for the input tokens is zero point zero three for per thousand token, and the output is zero point zero six per thousand token. Now this is where the examples they have given. You can maybe go through with this example. I will put the link in the description as well. And now let's talk about DeepSeek API. So we also have access to the uh, a free tier, but this is our paid tier API. Now you see here, what we are getting is 0 0.01 per thousand token. Okay, and here it says that 0 0.03 per per thousand token. There is a difference, right? Similarly, if you talk about scalability, this is again uh, the costing model which gives you somewhere around 0 0.03 token in case of deep seek it is 0 0.01 so impact over the time it's definitely going to impact because 0 0.01 and 0 0.03 there is not that much difference but when you start taking it to a scale like you are calling thousands or ten thousand or uh, maybe hundreds thousands of apis or uh, in an hour or in a day that is where the cost basically effectiveness starts coming in the picture so that is basically uh, going to definitely you, you need to reconsider or you need to consider while utilizing the chat gpt versus uh, uh, deep seek okay and then there is some sort of numeric comparison you can see here the performance performance is really really better the deep seek is giving you an amazing performance okay and then there are other uh, comparison as well i'll not go through uh, there so in terms of uh, the deep seek and in terms of uh, your uh, uh, performance like uh, chat gpt right you need to consider do you want to utilize or you want to have your data uh, to a company that is owned by us or you are okay to have the data by the company that is owned by china that is one key consideration that uh, you have to keep in mind now let's talk about uh, let's play around with the chat uh, with the deep seek right so you have got chat.deepseek.com and it, the interface uh, looks quite similar to uh, open ai where you've got some sort of uh, left hand bars to see the history of your all the histories that you have got uh, you've got the users on the bottom uh, bottom left right so here what we can do is now uh, we have to basically let's say we can say uh, let's say hello so if you put hello you can see here it's thinking it is basically saying some sort of uh, there is some sort of thinking right now if you see here in the bottom there is something called deep uh, deep think right if you disable it and then say hello sorry i said hell not hello okay it might give us the information about the hell okay uh, that that's fine uh, let's wait for this to give the information okay now this is basically uh, 
taking some time due to some uh, hardware requirement that I'm using okay that is one of the key thing the second thing is that uh, it is taking time due to some sort of internet connectivity as well and one thing that I have observed is sometimes it keeps uh, loading 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 and it says that server are busy that is the one problem that I have seen uh, in case of uh, deep seek so that is uh, again a downside uh, I can say or I would say there could be a problem uh, there could be the reason that uh, everyone is basically uh, trying to utilize trying to play around with the deep seek right so that is something uh, I believe that could also be one of the reason because it's not giving us any response okay let me refresh this page and it is still basically loading so that is uh, another problem that we see uh, let me try to create a new chat and I would say so this deep think r1 is basically if you enable it is going to show you the thinking which it was uh, showing in the previous chat and if you do not enable it's not going to show, uh, show you that it is thinking okay so let's say if i say mm, write uh, maybe i would say python python code for or maybe let me write something right yeah let's say write a python code okay python code to create a rag application so i said write a python code to create a rag application using deep seek r1 and hit enter it is going to show me that okay it is thinking it says okay so i need to create blah so it's more like it is thinking like a human right it is showing us that okay what i'm doing this is what i'm doing i'm going to do this i'm going to do that right and then it is basically telling us that okay this is what I as a developer has to do has to go through and this is what I'm doing okay and then after it has done the thinking it will start basically uh, giving me the code it is uh, going to create a complete Python code for me with the additional steps that I need to complete and then I can go ahead and run that code uh, separately in my machine and make the necessary changes because uh, it's anyways not going to give me the complete code uh, that I need. So you can see here, right? It is thinking and then now it has started writing the code for me. So it is really, really going to be an awesome tool uh, in future for sure. And it is already uh, uh, giving uh, a headache to the big giant companies like Google, Nvidia or OpenAI. And uh, that's basically what I wanted to cover in this video uh, about the new uh, tool that is there. And one more announcement from our side is that uh, we are going to start a series on the AI, how you uh, work with AI, what is AI, what is Gen AI, what is RAG, how you develop your agents, how you develop the chatbot application, how you develop the RAG application. We are going to have a complete series. So if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. I hope you have uh, got something uh, to take away from this video. Uh, please uh, do let us know uh, what is the one thing that you like about DeepSeek. Go ahead, give it a try and you'll get all the details into the description of this video. Thank you. Till then, bye-bye. Keep learning.